could topple. So I've got to be a little bit careful because um, these are heavy, really heavy. Okay, so. We're rethinking the potter. We are rethinking and it's all based on a couple of historical photos of this area. They were both aerial photos. Which we can show you. Which we'll put on the screen for you. But basically, instead of having the beds this way as we've had, the beds back in the 50s and 60s were this way, across the potager. And we kind of like that idea, don't we? Mm. Uh, being, you know, a, a nod to the history. Now the problem is we've got a row of fruit trees here. Yeah, which, which they didn't have before. Which weren't in the potter before. We've had to uh, extend it. So we've got to be careful not to conflict. So the, the timber's four metres long, isn't it? Yeah, and so we did have a... Everything's overgrown. We had a bed here and yep. here. Yeah. And then we staggered it. We did one there. Yeah. Oh plain <laughs> but I think what we should do is try and avoid the trees because yeah. the gap between the trees will be an odd number yeah. and it'll limit how many beds we get so let's get four meters and if we um right four meters so basically we want to establish this row don't we mm. so you need to, oh, caught up so you need to be about a meter away from that tree and that'll be the end of the bed. Yeah, so where it is here. Yeah, so I'm four metres, which is roughly in line with the greenhouse. So basically that works, doesn't it? Yeah. And so basically it can start wherever you want to start it. Well, so it can start from here. where we had it there. So here. Yeah. Right, so this is the first bed. Yeah. And it's going to, that gives us enough for the lawnmower. Yeah. Although eventually we want well, to wood we chip. want to wood chip the whole thing to save all that. Um, so basically four meters, then you've got a meter wide, yeah, roughly, and then and a then meter a meter down. space, so and then that's continue one, down. Two space. Yeah. Three, okay, so we're going to get a good three fifteen. Or four, four. I thought you wanted to go that way after that. No, carry on. All the way down. So, so if we just start with four. Yeah, I mean we've, we've got to look at the wood price, but I think each bed's going to be about a hundred euros. So yeah, I know. We've been avoiding buying wood because um, it's very expensive. But so I, I think you can get four here, but then we yeah. could have one or two there. Okay, so that's yeah. uh, a little task for the next uh, yeah, month so. or two: getting getting this potter ready. So I've got to weed that. That. Yeah. And then cut this, but eventually, if we get the wood chip down, I won't have to cut all this, so that that will be low maintenance. Yeah. Good. Okay. Right. There you go. That's our plans. Um, I think that'll look great. Yeah. Tidy. Good.
Now, I know this should have been done on the 5th of January, but I was busy that day. So, better late than never. Christmas lights coming down. They'll be going up before too long. that done I'll see you back in this spot in about eight months time Love it. What a difference a day makes. A glorious day yesterday, but then uh, yesterday evening it started raining, it's rained heavily overnight, and now our meadow is flooded for the third time this winter. And a little bit up there in the distance. And the first two winters we were here, we couldn't really see that little stream, uh, but we've seen it this year. It's uh, The ground is really, really saturated. Anyway, the birds are enjoying it. Well, I'm in the open barn. Um, you've seen me in, in here quite often uh, chopping wood, etc. And as I've been chopping a lot of these big logs behind me, um, I'm slowly but surely getting to this big wheel and I want to get to it to see the condition of it but it's been buried really uh, ever since we got here but I'm starting to see the wood from the trees um, so what I want to do is have a little tidy up in this area I've got a lot of long pieces of wood here some of them I'll be able to use for whatever purpose later and along the back wall, I've got a lot of them um, stacked up against the wall there. So I'm going to put the big, long ones that I can use up against the back wall. Um, any shorter things, I'll see whether they're rotten or reusable in any way. I'll put those somewhere and repurpose them. Uh, you can probably just on camera see this big gate here and this one here. They're rotten, but they're really, really heavy. Uh, unfortunately, they've been painted. So... I can't really chop them up for putting in the log burner. Um, I'm not going to try and sand or clean this paint off. It's not really worth my time. And of course, it could be lead. So I've got to be a bit careful doing that. So I think I'll chop these into smaller segments and then sadly um, have to take them to the dishettery. I don't really like um, dumping wood. It seems a waste to me, but you know they're rotten they're never going to be reused for anything um, and the paint etc so it's probably the most sensible thing so I'm just gonna have a little tidy up in here then I want to have a look at this wheel if I can it looks in good condition but of course I can't see the bottom third um, I do have the two wheels at the entrance to this barn here that's the third one uh, those three are in good condition the fourth one I have uh, sadly that's not in very good condition and it would um, need res restoration i think it could be restored possibly you can probably see just behind the wheel there's this uh, framework i'm probably in the way of having said that there's this big framework um and I, we think we've got the components of um, a good old-fashioned hay wain uh, where they used to put the bales of hay on um, again it looks in good condition what i can see of it so a project I've always had in mind is maybe restoring that. I don't know what we'll do with it once it's restored, 
but I'm wondering if there might be a French um, farming historical uh, society or something that might be able to advise and help on that. Um, it certainly seems a shame sitting there like that, just potentially rotting away. So it needs rescuing. So again, I want to have a quick look at that as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have a little tidy up in this area. Um, and then just <laughs> to that side of the camera, I think you've seen it on previous footage, there's lots and lots of wood there which needs sorting and processing in some way, but that's for another day. This piece looks suspiciously like it belongs to the pressoir, so I'll put it back with that. I don't know why it's ended up on that pile. And that's another future restoration job. Looking forward to doing that one. Well, that's looking promising. I can see the bottom of this wheel for the first ever time and that looks perfectly intact. Um, the ground here looks a little bit higher than the rest so maybe years of, uh, I can see an old tile there so maybe a bit of debris there and the wheel sitting on top so it's not getting damp. So that's good. Um, my only concern is this wheel is a bit upright and uh, therefore could topple so I've got to be a little bit careful because um, these are heavy really heavy um, so I'm going to clear all this and then move the base so it's against leaning against rather than upright Okay, so that's now leaning at the correct angle. <laughs> uh, very big, very heavy. But as you can see at the bottom there, that looks in good condition to me. Really dry, so that's a relief. And of course, one of the reasons it's heavy, it's A, there's a lot of wood, but uh, there's this metal tyre, if you like, that goes all around it, and that's heavy enough. Yeah, good. Well, I'm quite relieved that I've been able to get to this. And the next thing I want to do is clear up all this wispy stuff here. I could shred it and chip it and then distribute it over the various flower beds as you've seen recently. However, if we're going to make some raised beds in the potager, 
then this would be absolutely ideal um, for putting in the base and then putting soil on top. Then this will all rot down eventually. Um, the other option is cutting it up for kindling wood, but to be honest, that pile over there has so much small wood there and there's loads of little pieces all around the place. Um, I'm never going to run out of kindling wood, so I don't need any more. So I think what I'll do is I'll get the trolley and I'll dig all this lot out and then get it over to the potter. And that way I'll be able to see the rest of this um, hay wain, which goes all the way down to that big piece of wood there. So very long, 15, 16 feet, maybe, no, even more, maybe 18 to 20 feet long. So yeah, right. I'll get this, I'll go get the trolley and get all this out. Okay, well that's uh, tidied that up and I can see it all now. Um, and this is the first time I've been able to see this uh, in its entirety because it's just had all this wood banked up against it. Um, what's really interesting, I always assumed, because I've got four wheels, I assumed this was a four wheel uh, trailer or, or vehicle. Um, but I don't think it is. Now here is a big, big metal axle and the wheel would obviously go on this end and the other end. And I've also got another one of these axles in the other barn, and it is super heavy, really, really heavy. So I assumed that was off here. However, when I look, I can't see any place for it. Now there is, at the other end here, uh, what looks like some sort of wooden axle, but that wooden axle won't fit any of these wheels. So, I'm thinking, well, is it a two-wheel trailer um, and the wheel being in the middle? And I think it is because there's another feature down that end, which I'll show you. OK, so what we've got at this end is a piece of wood that pivots and we've got another one. I don't know whether you can see that down there. So when they come out like this, this end would be on the ground, likewise that one. And therefore, if the wheel's in the middle, those two pieces of wood here, it wouldn't be able to tip. And at the other end, there is another one of these, but it's dead centre, it's right in the middle. So that would be a support that end, so it wouldn't be able to tip. So I think this is a two-wheel trailer, and therefore the two spare wheels and the other axle, presumably, came off another, another one. And the other thing is, uh, at regular intervals, probably half a metre, is these uh, metal hooks. And I'm assuming once they've put a load of um, hay bales on, they would have used these uh, to tie, tie them down so they wouldn't rock and fall off. So they're period periodically along there. So yeah, it's um, yeah, it's interesting bit of agricultural history. Down this end would have been the oxen or you know horse but i suspect an oxen and of course you've seen the yoke that we've uh, got that's now a light in our kitchen that would have been here and there's chains here so yeah interesting i'm glad i'm glad i've got to see it and it looks in pretty good condition so it's possibly worth restoring and doing something with any ideas? <laughs>
Hello. All right. Yeah, just wondered how you're getting on. Da da. Wow. That's the first time we've been able to see that. Yeah. So yeah. That looks in good condition. Yes, it's it's fine. Uh, there's no problem with it at all. Um, nearly had a mishap with it, but oh. <laughs> you'll see that on the film. <laughs> so, so we've got the other axle. Where does that go on it? Uh, yeah, because, um, well, uh, I don't know. Um, it doesn't. Uh, there's nowhere for it. So I think this is just two wheels. Oh. Because I wondered if this was an axle, but then yeah. there's no way, as far as I can see, that that would fit in there. So why have we got four wheels then? Maybe there was another one. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. I want to maybe Google and see if I can find some pictures, just Ooh. in case I'm wrong. Maybe they've put this in temporarily or something, I don't know. Maybe the axle was there, but it would be a yeah. bit odd then. It should You'd expect one at the end and one at the other end, yeah. rather than one in the middle and then here. So I think it's a two-wheel uh, vehicle, um, trailer. But it's looking good. Yeah. Um, Still a lot of wood. It doesn't look like it's gone down much. <laughs> uh yeah it's well no <laughs> but what i'm going to do from now on is when i chop wood i'm going to start at this end mm. and gradually clear and then get this area cleared and all the wispy stuff that was piled up here yeah uh, that was already bound funny enough in bundles oh, right. uh, but i've put it all in the potager so somebody's collected all that up then <laughs> yeah yeah so presumably for kindling or something but we got too much. Oh, there's a bottle down here. Well, have you been drinking out here then? <laughs> Not out of this one, no. But that's hand, yeah. handmade bottle to add to our collection. You find bottles in all sorts of places. <laughs> yeah. Sally was asking us what's our next big project. So I no think <laughs> we were going to do the boot room ceiling next. Yeah, um, the beams that. don't need stripping in there, they're quite clean. Yeah. Um, we've just got to treat them. Um, but uh, we can't do it till the weather's a bit better because we've got to empty it all out. Yeah. So it's been a real hindrance this year with all the rain we've had, isn't it? Yeah, it's been very wet actually. But uh, yeah, so th we'll be doing that, uh, putting insulation up and plasterboarding. Mm. Uh, we'll obviously finish all the plasterboarding that we've already put up you know with plaster and paint etc uh greenhouse we want to think about putting the greenhouse up so that's maybe this year hopefully this year and some raised beds um, do the raised beds as we've discussed maybe yeah poly tunnel poly tunnels would help mm. until we've got the greenhouse um re-plumbing i want to yeah. re-plumb the whole of the place so I've got it's, to start thinking about that because that's holding us up in so many other ways it's all got to be stripped out hasn't it? it's all got to be done every bit of mm. plumbing's got to go and um, we've got to put water balloons in yeah well I can't do that until I do and then start we can, that process then we can get rid of the dinosaur in the kitchen the boiler or the, the elephant I the, should say yeah the, <laughs> the orange <laughs> elephant um, so yeah re-plumbing uh, means we can then look at finishing the bathroom for example We've got a couple of en-suites we'd like to do. I don't know whether all this would get done this year, but we certainly need to start these sort of jobs. Mm. Uh, and we've got some things like the bread oven roof I'd really like to re-roof. Uh, it's a question of how much we can do in a year for ourselves. Um, and obviously and, and we're kitchen dictated floor. to by the weather. Really. By the weather, obviously. Yeah. Uh, if it's too hot, you can't really start roofing when it's really hot. You can't do it in the winter when it's really cold. So there's all sorts of jobs we'll be doing. Um, there's always something there's, to do. Oh God, there's never going to be nothing to do. Whether, you know, there's anything going to be classed as a big project, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they all seem pretty big to us at times, don't they? Because uh, there's only the two of us here. But, um, yeah, so there's quite a lot we're going to be doing this year and obviously clearing this sort of thing out. So Yeah, and hopefully doing the chicken coop. Chicken coop, that's the one. Yeah, we definitely want to get and, that this And the year. dog grooming room, that'll be in the outbuildings there. Dog grooming room. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and restore this pressoir. Mm. Uh, that would make a hell of a bar. Yeah, I was going to say, a this, bar this would make a nice bar area. Yeah. 
when we've cleared this out and see what the floor's like underneath. Yeah. But there are some repairs to do on the roof. There's repairs to do everywhere we look. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that hay wain would make a lovely uh, bar top. Yeah. There's an idea. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, Sully, yes, look out for lots of projects, um, some of them bigger than others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the donkey shelter over there, we haven't even looked at that. Well, we can't actually get in the meadow, can we? Because the gates no. have been tied up for Well, I suspect decades. maybe these, I haven't measured it, but these two big gates <coughs> here might have come from there. Yeah, I, well, we the ones know. there, they're tied up falling to bits but they're covered in brambles yeah so we can't actually get in there unless we can't climb through the barbed wire through which barbed is a bit wire. tricky so yeah so um, we need to think about that yeah because we've got to dismantle the rest of that and redo it all really yeah so there um, you go there's that question i'd like to thank uh, monique uh who joined us on patreon this week so hello monique thank you and I know you've clicked on a couple of the uh, posts so hopefully you're working your way through this so thank you for joining us and thank you to Katie, I think it's Katie, not Katie, from Finland for buying us some coffees. Thank you. Yes, we were, we, we, we think it's Katie, but it's yeah. spelt K-A-T-I. So we wondered if it was Katie. So sorry if you got it wrong. So <laughs> do apologise, but hello to Finland. Thank you. Thank you to everyone for all your support. New subscribers, old subscribers, patrons. Thank you, yeah. And I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. And I'll be doing my Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>